Good evening. I'm Cole Hartman, and our sports ticker is brought to you by the 1890 Initiative. The 2023 NHL Draft goes live tonight out in Nashville, Tennessee, where round one selections are just getting underway over on ESPN. The Chicago Blackhawks hold the number one pick of the draft, where they will presumably select forward Connor Bernard. The teams next in line for round one are the Anaheim Ducks, the Columbus Blue Jackets, the San Jose Sharks, and the Montreal Canadiens. Max Anderson of Husker Baseball collected yet another postseason accolade today as he received his fifth second team All-American honor this month as Baseball America released its All-America teams this afternoon. The junior for the Big Red was a Golden Spikes Award semifinalist, a unanimous first team All-Big Ten honoree, and hit 414 with 20 doubles, two triples, 21 home runs, and 70 RBIs in his 2023 campaign. Another NU athlete adding to their collection of awards is Axelina Johansson of NU Track and Field. The sophomore Sweden product was named to the Academic All-America Second Team via the College Sports Communicators. Axelina won the NCAA Shot Put National title just a few weeks back in Austin, Texas. In that event, each of her six throws would have won her the NCAA gold medal. Johansson also swept the Big Ten indoor and outdoor shot put titles this season, and she was an NCAA indoor runner-up in March. Just two games have gone final in Major League Baseball this afternoon. The Braves silenced the Twins 3-0, and the Nationals held off the Mariners 4-1. And the game slated for first pitch in just a few minutes. It's the Reds at the Orioles, the Padres and the Pirates, the Giants taking on Toronto, the Marlins visiting Boston, and the Brewers battling with the Mets. Our sports ticker is sponsored by the 1890 Initiative. Do you want to support Husker student athletes through name, image, and likeness? If so, visit 1890nebraska.com. Now get ready for a full two hours of Sports Nightly right here on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. Simon gets the shotgun snap. Huskers send a corner blitz. Simon steps, throws, pass intercepted. Picked off Go, by baby. Miles Farmer. Go, to baby. The 35 to the 30. Rook tied down to the 27 yard line. Miles Farmer's fourth career INT. Yes! Three eligible to the near side. Back to throw is Morgan. Stepping up, gets hit, dropped. Oh, he got drilled at the 18-yard line. Ty Robinson's second sack of the year. I think he took his shoes off with that hit. Here is your host, Jessica Cootie, on the Huskers Radio Network. Happy Wednesday, everybody, and welcome into Sports Daily. I'm Jessica Cootie. Greg Sharp out for the rest of the week. Hope you're staying cool on this really, really hot summer night. Man, it is, not, what, still 97, Cole? It's hot in the studio, I feel like. It is, is AC a, not on full go? It is a little warmer. I hope it is because it um, could get bad. It feels a little sticky in here, but 97 degrees, so hope everybody is staying cool. Appreciate you tuning in. Got a fun show ahead for you coming up. We have a little snippet of the latest edition of the Kicking Back with the Cooks podcast. So going to catch up from Coach Cook and hear all about the trip to Brazil and uh, get a little catch up with Lauren and Coach Cook coming up here in just a few minutes here in hour number one. Hour number two, we're going to hear from linebacker John Bullock, who just recently was put on scholarship here in the last month. We're going to talk to him about that and moving back to the linebacker spot. So that will be coming up in hour number two, along with tight end Thomas Fedoni. He's always a treat to get to talk to. Got a chance to chat with him. Well, uh, couple weeks ago so we're going to hear that interview but we got to start off the show with a different tight end and another commitment a huge one for Nebraska football the fireworks were full blaze here inside Memorial Stadium around noon as Carter Nelson the tight end out of Ainsworth Nebraska in a gymnasium full of folks uh, that were there to watch him make his commitment he gave out his thank yous and then said, go Big Red, I'm staying home. And the crowd erupted. It was a really cool moment. If you haven't seen it, it's all over social media. Just uh, search his name and you, and you can see it. It's really awesome. The crowd erupted. He and his family shed layers of his Ainsworth High School clothing to reveal Nebraska gear. It was, it was really cool. 6'4", 222, four-star, tight end. 
top ranked recruit in Nebraska and one of the top tight ends in the nation. The Huskers held off Georgia for this one. He also went on visits to Notre Dame. Penn State had 29 offers, but you know, huge shout out to Danny Kalin, the quarterback in this class. He's been big in recruiting a lot of these guys, but they spent a lot of time together, and I know they're really close, and so I, I, that played a big factor as well. But Danny's been absolutely massive in, in terms of helping this coaching staff recruit. But, you know, I know Carter really believes in this coaching staff and the direction that it's going and wants to be a part of that. And, um, you know, he, he really raved about the connections that he was able to build with the coaching staff in addition to the, the connections that he already has with the recruits that were in this class already. But plays eight-man football at Ainsworth, two-way player, 25 total touchdowns, 14 rushing, 11 receiving in nine games in 2022, 761 total yards of offense, rushing and receiving. And then he also passed for 663 yards. No big deal there, right? On defense, 41 tackles, six interceptions, and three sacks. And, yeah, again, just a big, big get there for the Huskers in this class. So 21 commitments now in this recruiting class in 2024. Yesterday, we talked about a different commitment. There's been four commitments in the last three days. And as of yesterday, the class was ranked 16. The commitment from Carter today pushes it up to number 14, so top 15 recruiting class for the Husker football and a couple of different recruiting platforms. 15 commitments in the month of June. It's just been absolutely bonkers around here. I thought this was, was an interesting statistic. So Zach Carpenter of Rivals, he on Twitter posted a stat. 14 in-state commitments for this coaching staff in the last two classes. And in the previous five recruiting cycles combined, there were 16 from the state of Nebraska. So 14 in-state commitments in two classes, 16 the previous five classes. And, man, we, we've talked so much about this. We've heard the coaching staff talk about this. And we've hammered it home here on this class, I know, or on this program. And the coaching staff has really talked about it since they've got here, about how important it is going to be to protect Nebraska and to lock up the borders and I've mentioned this time and time again but you know you go back to what the staff has done a lot of them have been together for a really long time and what they did at Baylor they protected the the home borders there in Texas over 80 percent of that roster was from the state of Texas you go back to when they were at Temple really over 80 percent of that roster was from the Philadelphia area that that area right there surrounding Philadelphia that neighbors I think two different states or three different states so they, they locked in a lot of kids from that area and then got commitments from across the country we've seen that pipeline already open up to Texas and then absolutely they've they've done what they've promised they are protecting the home field and so it kind of took me back to when I remember sitting down with these guys right when they were rolling in. They hadn't been here very long at all, maybe a couple of days. And, you know, I, Evan Cooper was, of course, one of the first ones that uh, Coach Rule brought on with him and was here with him at his introductory press conference. But as individually, as one by one, as they were added to this, this staff, and they hadn't been here very long, but I got a chance to sit down with them as they were wrapping up last year's recruiting class back in December, right before signing day in December. And it took me back to what they were saying back then about the importance of Nebraska. This is E.J. Barthel, Coach Roll, and Ed Foley on the importance of recruiting here in state. I think that's where it starts at. You know, I think, um, you know, you always want to make sure that you are in your, uh, in your backyard first, right? That's, those are the kids that you got to give opportunities to and make sure you, you know, you find the in-state talent, you know what I mean? Because what's more important than, than that as far as the, the pride of the school, right? The, I mean, the fan base here, um, you know, this is, this, is what, this is what it's about, right? Nebraska football. So if we can get an in-state kid that wants to be here, and um, I mean, that's a win-win situation for the fans, for us, and for the community. So absolutely. I know you guys are going to recruit everywhere, but speaking with your staff yesterday, there was a common theme about making Nebraska a priority. How important is that? Yeah, 100%. You know, to me, you always, you always start at home, you know, and, and we let a couple get out of the state this year. And, um, you know, um, uh, I'm, I, I didn't want that to happen. So, yeah. you know, and I'm happy for them. You know, we're going to support Nebraska kids no matter what. But, you know, that, that's we're, we're going to search high and low. We're going to try to have the best camps. We're going to speak at all the clinics. We're going to go to all the high schools. Um, I want, you know, I want every Nebraska uh, uh, young man growing up to know that they can get all their, achieve all their dreams here. And there's really good football players here. That was part of my evaluation of, hey, is this the right job for me? 
going in and looking at all the recruits and looking at even the 24s in the state and seeing, hey, you know, are we going to be able to recruit at home? And so uh, it was important. I think I think they said to me it was the most in-state recruit since like 1998 or something like that. Um, again, I'm not here to compare. I just think that there's good players here. We want to go get them. Um, and not just ask them, you know, to, just to walk on. I mean, if they don't earn a scholarship, we want to give them a scholarship. How important is that Nebraska talent locking that up? It's it's huge because this is a really good state. Like I I, I didn't know that before. I mean, it was very evident right away how good of a state this is. Um, but there's players in this state, and and we're getting them. They're coming to Nebraska. So let's you know, like there's been some other schools that have gotten in here and and and, and made some headway recruiting Nebraska. That that's over. We're we're, we're coming in now. We're going to hit multiple coaches, multiple schools. We're going to be in the schools more than anybody else as much as we can legally. We're going to communicate as much as we can, and uh, we're keeping these guys in state. Yeah, I remember that being uh, really sticking with me back on that day when, when they were talking about that. And here we are six months later and, and everything that they've said is, is coming is true to fruition of the, as they have really made Nebraska an absolute priority. So, yeah, 21 commitments already and 14 or 15 of those in June. It is been crazy. A lot of those, uh, several of those commitments coming from the after the official weekend this past weekend, which we heard so much about. I, I talked about it, how the music was blurring. They had all this the setup on the concourse. I know they had a lot of details. A lot of things were thought out in those in making sure that they kind of wowed everybody that came in. And so I think I think it's really hard to probably tell this coaching staff no with when you talk to them and their passion and their belief in this program and the special things that are happening. And so, yeah, uh, there are several commitments that, that left here this weekend. and definitely told this staff yes so fun news there and uh, I don't know well I guess we'll we'll plan on keeping talking about the commitments because they've they've I feel like we've had one every day for the last however many times we've had a show and, and we'll keep talking about it as long as they keep rolling in all right 402-413-2400 the number to call in or text if you want to be a part of the show tonight on our Woodhouse Auto Family Hotline got a couple texts we'll get to here in a couple of segments. But yeah, the Sports Nightly Hotline brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com anytime with 18 brands and a huge selection of pre owned. You can always find what you're looking for with Woodhouse. All right, coming up next, we're going to hear from the latest edition of Kicking Back with the Cooks. Keep it here on Sports Nightly. In America, the future belongs to everyone. That's why we make trucks like Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 46 years straight and counting. Made for performance and capability. Made to play hard and work smart, on and off-road. That's because they're built Ford tough. So be future ready with Ford F-Series, based on 1977 to 2022 calendar year total sales. F&BO free checking. Is checking that's actually free. No fees or minimums, and now no overdraft fees. It's ever so personal, with people to help every step of the way. And easy with a mobile app that allows you to deposit checks and manage your accounts wherever you are. So make the switch so you can do more with the Great Big Small Bank. Visit FNBO.com to learn more or stop on by. FNBO free checking. It's ever so free. Member FDIC. For a delicious dinner on the go that will please the whole family, get High Chai at High V. Right now, get a High V Chinese dinner for four, just $22 during the month of June. Get four one pint entrees, two pints of rice or lo mein, and eight egg rolls or crab rangoon. That's right, get a High V Chinese dinner for four, just $22 now through the end of June. Dine in or carry out the crowd pleasing, award winning High V Chinese today. Some restrictions may apply. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm broadcasting student Ann Gallagher with Campus News. UNL is the only Big Ten university in Nebraska, part of the only conference with an academic alliance. Being in the Big Ten means superior academics, unique student opportunities, better resources, and world-class research programs. With 72% of undergraduate students receiving scholarships or financial aid, UNL offers a Big Ten education at great value. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. 
Discover the meticulously crafted and effortlessly iconic 2023 Cadillac lineup at Woodhouse Cadillac. Receive up to $1,500 off MSRP and 2.9% APR for 36 months on the 2023 Cadillac XT5 or XT6. Visit us in store at our newest location at 112th and Dodge in Omaha or online anytime at woodhousecadillac.com. With approved credit, must finance with GM Financial, 299 dot due at signing. Offer expires 6 2023 See dealer for details. Huskers, do you want a fulfilling career that's financially rewarding? Explore the many ways you can be a part of the insurance community. Go to IIAN.org slash careers today. Business insurance is a lot to manage. Did you know a trusted choice independent insurance agent can help guide you through it at no extra cost to you? They'll do your insurance. You just do you. Find out more at trustedchoice.com. There is no place like Nebraska, and there is no place that treats you like your home like Sap Brothers. For over 50 years, Sap Brothers has fueled America's heartland and has been a reliable partner to local farms, businesses, and Huskers fans across Nebraska, providing the highest quality fuel, lubricants, and propane, servicing your farming equipment, and welcoming guests into our travel centers. Visit www.sapbros.net. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Huskers Athletics. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker Athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall and Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Road Townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. That's my neighbor, Joe. Hey, Joe. Hey, John. Joe's about to make a big mistake. Hey, Joe, think it might be a good idea to call 811 to have the utilities marked before you start digging? I'm not digging very deep. It's no big deal. <laughs> no big deal. Remember, safe digging always starts with a free call to 811. Oh, what a knucklehead. Brought to you by Nebraska 811. Since 1993, Dakota Mac has offered fixed long term ag real estate loans perfect for any stage of life. The rebellious 15 year loan, the here for laundry 20 year loan, and the 30 year loan who thinks they can tell you a thing or two about parenting. Whatever your needs, trust Dakota Mac with your legacy. Hi, it's Nick Reno from Dakota Mac. Please call me at 308-380-7564 to learn all about our competitive rates on ag real estate loans. Welcome back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, which is sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more. Acres solutions for every field. Welcome back to Sports Nightly on this Wednesday evening. I'm Jessica Cootie, Greg Sharp, out for the rest of the week. We recently were able to record the latest episode of Kicking Back with the Cooks. Normally, Coach Cook comes here in studio, and then Lauren records from her home. And so you, you normally see them on camera, but we had some technical difficulties this time, Cole. We you did. don't see Lauren in this. You do not see Lauren. We do, you do see a lot of John, which, okay. is, which is always good. Yes. Lauren was, I believe she, she was doing some sort of nature walk I don't know, get away from the grid, even though she had her phone with her. But so that so that's why no Lauren on camera. She was out in the out in the nature. So you'll hear Lauren, but you won't see her if you're watching on our YouTube stream, but you will uh, you will see Coach Cook. The full episode is going to be dropped tomorrow uh, afternoon, but we did want to make sure and bring you a little bit of a sneak peek here on Sports Nightly. So here is kicking back with the Cooks. Another big change in the volleyball world is adding this third assistant position. To, so I, correct me if I'm wrong, but you, they took away the volunteer position, they added the third assistant, and you took full advantage of that and hired uh, Jordan Larson, who is a very impressive hire. So explain her setup and, and the process and what all happened to get her in that position. Yeah, so we were always a lot of volunteers. So like last year, we didn't even have a volunteer because it's hard. How do you find somebody that's good, that can coach, and is going to do it for free? So 
you typically volunteers are a young coach trying to get in, but you know, we have, we do our program for that is our grad assistants. They, they get to be around our program and help, but they're also getting their master's degree. So, um, that's kind of the way it's worked. So there's several times we've never even had a volunteer because it's hard to find people. Well, the NCAA uh, decided, hey, if you want to, this is up to each school, you can pay that volunteer now. So then it becomes an extra coaching position. And that's across all Olympic sports. Now, each school and each sport have to decide, are you going to make that fin financial commitment to pay that volunteer coach, or you can just keep him as a volunteer? Well, at Nebraska, we, we were fortunate enough to be allowed to pay that position. So it adds another paid coach. They're, they can do everything. They can recruit, coach, do everything. And then I've been talking to Jordan for years about coming back to Nebraska and coach. And anyway, last fall, when she came in to train with us, uh, and uh, I could tell how happy she was here, she she – uh, you know, kind of wants to settle in Nebraska. So I said, hey, this might be coming down the pipe. Think about it. And then I think it was approved or, or almost finally approved in January. And so we continue to talk, and she's now an assistant coach. Now, she's not full-time right now. Uh, so she because she's still continuing to play, and her goal is to go through Paris. So she's – Basically, on, a, on a, once all that's over, she'll be a full-time coach here, and she's, um, you know, basically a year out from Paris right now. And uh, but she'll be with us most of the fall, and the spring's yet to be determined what her schedule will be, and if she'll play overseas or not, or play in the United States. But um, we don't need her for coach, coach, coaching beach because you can only have two coaches in beach. So. Uh, I don't know if that's – yeah, we haven't got that far. So maybe I'll be the volunteer paid for beach. So uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, that's kind of how that works. And um, we're really lucky to have the Gov back in, and she's been great. And even when she's away, Lauren, uh, so she came and trained with us to prepare for Brazil. She couldn't go to Brazil with us. Um, but – She's working with our players. She Zooms with them. She watches video on Zoom with them. And you know, you've seen volumetrics. I mean, she can watch any practice, any match. She watched our Brazil matches. So she can watch all those and, and work with uh, mainly our outside hitters. So it's uh, she's into it, which is really cool. That is really cool. You, you made quite the uh, commotion when you hired her, I think, the volleyball world across the United States was just really happy for you and for her. And uh, everyone commented on how great of a hire that is. So congratulations. Uh, Brazil trip. We need to touch on this. Just a quick recap, maybe give us the highs and lows or if there were only highs, but just how it went and uh, your overall take on that trip. Well, this is our six, the sixth international trip I've taken the Nebraska volleyball team on. I took, I did one in 1996 at Wisconsin. We went to Russia. So uh, all the other trips before Brazil, we went to China and Japan. And so this is the first trip to Brazil. And I would have to say uh, it, it, it was probably the best trip, international trip that we've done. And here are the reasons why. First of all, we took two incredible guides with us. Both are doctorates. Dr. L Dr. Leo uh, did his guy's PhD at Nebraska in our sports science NAPL uh, lab. So that's where I met him. And then Dr. Damata, who's an adjunct professor from Brazil at Colorado State right now. And these two guys were incredible. Uh, how they threw us into the Brazilian culture, took us places and got us just, it was, it was just an amazing experience. And the Brazil people, they love three things. So it's pretty, pretty easy. They love food, they love uh, music and dance, and they love sports. So it's a great connection, and we did a lot of that on the trip. Uh, and the, as the, I heard from our players, their verticals were down when they got back because the, the food was really good. <laughs> so, so uh, but 
uh, and then we got to go to some incredible places volleyball wise and then one of the reasons i've never gone to brazil is typically their downtime is in the summer which is their winter and the, the players are kind of off and then there really wasn't a lot of tourist type things to do you know you go to japan and china i mean there's world-class great city for Forbid- forbidden city the great wall of china and some other terracotta sh- soldiers there's just incredible th- things to do the bullet train and i never thought brazil had it but we went to two unbelievable world-class uh, one and you saw the if people followed they saw the pictures christ the redeemer was incredible and then the uh, sugarloaf mountain uh, which is you you take these trams and go up and it was it was unbelievable and so anyway, the, that was a highlight tourist-wise. And then the, um, the, at the end of the trip, we kind of took a day and a half and went to this fishing village called Buzios. And it's, it was beautiful. We had this, I don't know, 50-year-old hotel that you felt like you were in Greece in a movie. I mean, it was, it was awesome. And, and that's where we kind of had our captain's meetings and debriefed the trip and just talked about how where we're going from here so that was beautiful and then we got to go to the uh their olympic training center which is just for volleyball in sakurama sakurama happens to be on about a 10 mile beach it's also beautiful and they built this great training facility so we went there and played trained lifted ate our ate some meals there and then went to the beach so it's they figured it out brazilians are smart Let's build a training center on the beach, and then everybody's going to want to come there and train <laughs> within Brazil. For their, their U19 team was there. Their U21 team was there. Of course, their national teams are playing in the VNL right now, so they're traveling all over the world playing along with our USA team. Uh, and then Rio's Rio. You know, that's it's a huge tourist city, huge beach, incredible, busy. you got to be careful. Uh, big, big city. So a lot of traffic. And then we started in Belo Horizonte, which means beautiful horizon. It's a mining, mining, it started as a mining town. Now it's a bigger city. And uh, that's where we started and really just loved the whole vibe of that city. And um, so I could go on and on and on, but the food was incredible. The people were great. And I've I had to say the highlight for most, of the, I asked most of the players what their highlight was. And it's hard for Americans to understand this, but what Brazil has done is they build these clubs. So let's just say an Omaha would build this huge sports club and they would have a professional team, but, and, the, and then they'd have 20,000 members in this club. And this club would be a city block. This like this, uh, um, think of a whole city block and maybe five stories with gyms, weight rooms, swimming pools, uh, every sport you can think of you can do there. So you can drop your kids off there. They have restaurants. And so that's what they built in Brazil. Well, in Belo Horizonte, we went to what's called Club Olimpico. And Club Olimpico is the same type of club, but it was built for the kids that live in the, and the families that live in the Flavios, which are the basically the slums. And a really smart leader in Brazil built this so these kids would come to the club as opposed to, you know, keep, try to keep them safe and out of trouble. So it's a different, a little bit different clientele there that are in this club. It's a little different vibe and our players loved it. And they were playing with the kids and the families playing all these sports and they were teaching us. They, we were grilling out there, uh, hung out at the swimming pool and, that was really touched a lot of our hearts. Just seeing, um, and we're, we're in a couple of weeks here in July. You're going to see a video of what we did for those kids uh, with help of Adidas, and it is heartwarming uh, and really cool. And just to see their appreciation, um, and they, of course, they love the Americans and they love Nebraska. And we're going to actually we have an Olympico jersey because they do have a professional team there. Um, it, but it's not at the level of some of the other professional teams just because where it is and the financial, you know, they, they're not making a lot of money there because it's the, the clientele that comes there, you know, can't afford it. Wow. 
It's a really cool story. And on the way home from Brazil, you named captains and you did it in a really cool way. And I'm sure mm. everyone's heard about it or read about it. And you had the pilots of the plane come back and talk to Lexi and Merritt and, and tell them that, you know, they're, they're going to be the captains for this upcoming season. But I want to know how you decided on captains. Was it a team boat? Was it a staff boat? Uh, did you even vote? How did you come to the conclusion that Lexi and Merritt were going to captain your team for this next season? A really good question and something we always struggle with, how to do it. So what we did this year, since we have six new players out of 14, where we have no seniors, so we thought, okay, we, we got to figure something out here. So we started leadership classes and uh, throughout the whole semester, and and, uh, and everybody, anybody who wanted to go to those classes could. So everybody showed up, and then everybody one night got up and talked about why they want to be a captain in wrestle volleyball. So we're trying to make this really special and important, and uh, so we continue to talk about it. And then we went to Brazil. So in Buzios, this little fishing village where you could film a movie there, you could uh, do take your honeymoon there. You, uh, it's just this incredible little area that's just, I don't know. It's like, a, like it's, it's, you feel like you're in a movie. And um, <clears throat> so sitting overlooking the Atlantic Ocean with these ships out there, boats and stuff, we'd met, met as a team every uh, for a couple nights and so on the last night we said okay there's six people that we feel like and have expressed a lot of interest and really want to be captains and so now is your time to get up and talk in front of everybody and it wasn't just our team this was Lindsay was there uh, Gina Johnson who's from our compliance went with us uh, the Brazil guys and so and, and again, this was out on this overlooking the ocean and this beautiful little, I don't know, place where you sit out there under umbrellas, but you're, you're up kind of up high above the ocean. And so they all got up and did an incredible job. And then we had the next day as we didn't we had a night flight out. So uh, we next day we met with each player and asked them, OK, who, who do you think who do you want your captains to be? And then the ones that actually got up and spoke, we asked them okay, we assume you would vote for yourself, so who would you want with you? And, and so anyway, it, was, it became very clear cut, even though it was, there was a lot of love spread on that uh, and a lot of respect for these, for these girls getting up there and talking, but Merritt and Lexi kind of was a pretty unanimous feel for that they were the, gonna be the leaders on this team. And, and so anyway, we didn't tell them we go. We have a four-hour bus ride to get to Rio to get on the plane. It's again, you fly overnight, so you leave at nine o'clock at night and you get into Houston at six in the morning. So I asked when we got on the plane. I asked the. I was in seat one F, which is the very first seat in the plane. It's called Polaris, and you actually have a bed you can sleep in because I can't handle overnight flights. And. So anyway, I asked the, the guy in charge of the purser, they call him, and I said, hey, we, we got the Nebraska volleyball team and we got two captains. Do you mind announcing it? And he said, okay, we'll see. So we could take off and we get going. And I'm thinking, okay, he's not going to say anything. You know, usually you do it at the beginning, you know, before you take off. So I thought, okay, that, that didn't work. So we're about an hour and a half into the flight and the captain comes back to my seat and says, hey, I hear you got a couple captains on here. He goes, I I'd like to tell them personally. I go, are you serious? I mean, you just, you don't have to do that. And he goes, no, captain to captain, I want to talk to him. So I, he, I, I gave him the names and he has this iPad and he looks on the iPad and, and it's for Merritt and Lex. He goes, oh, okay, 37A, 37B, they're sitting next to each other. I'm going back. So I, they didn't have any idea. So here comes the captain back and they think they're in trouble or something's going on. And he sits down and has a talk to them about being captains and how important it is. And, and, and you, I, they talked about it several times now. So it was a really cool deal. And that's how they found out. Uh, how cool is that? A uh, story is just awesome. I know we've heard it before, but man, uh, really neat to hear how they did that. Again, that is the latest episode of Kicking Back with the Cooks. The full episode in its entirety will be dropped tomorrow on 
our YouTube platforms, our podcast platforms. So stay tuned for that. Cole, how long was this one? It was long, right? Yeah, hold on. Get to the mic. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize you weren't on the mic. Uh, it was, I want to say, 45 to 50 minutes. It was a long one. Yeah, so that was a really small portion of the full episode that will be out tomorrow. So make sure you tune into that. Uh, they talk about a lot, as they always do. Uh, it's always a fun listen. So make sure you check it out tomorrow, Kicking Back with the Cooks, the latest episode with John Cook and Lauren Cook. And as always, that uh, podcast brought to you by our friends at Woodhouse, who also sponsor our Sports Nightly Hotline. So 402-413-2400, uh, the number to text or call in if you want to be a part of the show. Sports Nightly Hotline brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com anytime with 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned. You can always find what you're looking for with Woodhouse. Back with more from Sports Nightly coming up right after this. It's time for another round of Nebraska Farm Facts. If there's one thing Nebraska is known for, it's our beef. And Nebraska soybeans feed a lot of them, and even more pigs and chickens. Farmers and ranchers raise livestock and poultry to provide nutritious, affordable protein for all ages to help build muscle and maintain energy for a healthy lifestyle. Keep that in mind as you prepare all that tasty meat on your tailgate grill. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. A DUI is everything you didn't prepare for. You did not save for it. You did not train for it. You did not go to school for it. You did not raise your family or buy a house or get a job for it. It is not your life goal or a dream come true. You have planned for everything in your life. You did not plan for a DUI. Get a ride. A DUI costs more than you think. Brought to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. There is no place like Nebraska, and there is no place that treats you like your home like Sap Brothers. For over 50 years, Sap Brothers has fueled America's heartland and has been a reliable partner to local farms, businesses, and Huskers fans across Nebraska, providing the highest quality fuel, lubricants, and propane, servicing your farming equipment, and welcoming guests into our travel centers. Visit www.sapbros.net. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Huskers Athletics. More Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic care first. Studies show that chiropractic is safe, drug-free, and the most effective treatment option for back, neck, and joint pain. It can also help patients of all ages reduce migraines, improve mobility, and maximize athletic performance. Keep the entire family healthy and active with natural, cost-effective chiropractic care. Find a chiropractic physician near you at nebraskachiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall and Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Row townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. SOS to the rescue. SOS to the rescue. As the Huskers head to halftime, Frank is off the couch and headed for the fridge. Ooh, but he can't make it because he is so hot. The air conditioner is out again. SOS, he screams and calls SOS Heating and Cooling. His favorite Luxair dealer trusted since 1950. With Luxair, you get a free 10-year labor warranty with a new system. SOS Heating and Cooling. SOS to the rescue. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. Dear roads, trails, and rivers, you ready for some SUV action? Toyota SUVs can roll their sleeves up for tight turns and twisty trails, dress up for a night out on the town, or head to the great outdoors. Take your family adventure game to a whole new level with the roomy Highlander. 
Make a serious splash with the rugged, revved up RAV4. And tow all your toys in the spacious new Sequoia. Don't forget the Trail Taman 4Runner and the sleek Venza Hybrid. All Toyota SUVs feature a whole suite of creature comforts to keep you and yours cozy in the cabin. Check out this legendary lineup at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. See your Omaha Metro and Lincoln Toyota dealers. Corbin Toyota of Bellevue, Village Point Toyota of Omaha, Baxter Toyota of La Vista, or Baxter Toyota of Lincoln. It's more powerful than the legendary Husker option offense. More powerful than the black shirt defense. It's the sun, and you can harness its power with JTEC Solar. JTEC, the official solar energy experts of the Huskers, can help you shrink your energy bills and start saving money now. Solar power is clean, affordable, and it's dependable because the sun always shines on the Huskers. JTEC Solar for your home, business, or agriculture energy needs. Visit JTECSolar.com. Welcome back into Sports Nightly and our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. I'm Jessica Cudi, and look who's able to join me, Cole. Hello, hello. The uh, guys in the chat are going to be so Thank happy you. they've been asking for you. Shout out Ross, who's running the board tonight, one of the newest members of the HRN crew. So Ross is on the board. So you finally get to show your face. That's right. I finally do after a long-awaited time, after being full-time for like six months at this point. So say hi to the folks in the chat. So hello, folks in the chat. Okay, got a couple things that I, I wanted to talk to you about. But first of all, did get this text on the text line um, from Greg in Orlando. You can take a wild guess who that, that is from. Looking forward to your coverage tonight of the NHL draft. Sure. So Tim Mulhoff, who used to be a producer here, used to do all the hockey stuff for us. So I'm, I'm making you do that now. So the NHL draft is currently underway. You want to give us an update on the NHL draft? I can give you an update. I'm not... <laughs> I'm not as well versed as Tim was in the NHL right. draft. You remember he would he would always try and work into the sports ticker NHL oh, yes. scores yes, at he any would. Absolutely. anytime he could. Um, Connor uh, Bedard uh, is went number one overall to the Blackhawks. In the second pick, Leo Carlson went over to the Anaheim Ducks. Okay. And then followed by. Uh, Columbus Blue Jays selecting Adam Fantilli. So those are the top three picks. Okay, I like it. If you were to ask me to elaborate. I, I wanted a full <laughs> breakdown of each guy. No, how about, so we had Andy Jackson in studio today, volleyball player, freshman middle blocker, and she's a huge hockey fan, a huge Edmonton Oiler fan. We should have asked her for a breakdown of the draft. We should have. Because yep. she would have known a lot more than either of us. <laughs> but that'll be, that'll be fun for fans to hear her talking about that. But yeah, she's a big Oilers fan. So I don't even know when the Oilers pick, but I'm sure she's paying attention to it. Uh, something else that I wanted to ask you about, because we got into this last night, of course, the Nebraska football road race coming up July 16th. And the guys in the chat want to sponsor you to run in the road race. You're in, right? I'm in. Okay. I'm in as long as as long as I'm sponsored. I don't know what all that might entail. Well, they're just going to sponsor your your fee to get in, and then you'll you're going to run it, and you better win it. For you better represent HRN. I will represent the HRN. It's a it's a great event. Like yeah. jokes aside, it's a great event, and there's a lot of cool athletes out there supporting it, helping out. I think the you said the basketball team's man in the water stand yes. this year. Yes, you, you yeah. making a stop there. Are you going to start training though? That's a different discussion. You're just going to show up and wing it? I could just wing it. I, That's impressive. I definitely. I, I think if do I it. have a good breakfast, I have my special K. Well, we've been recording a series of nutrition podcasts that we'll be launching next week, and we've, we've done the series a couple years now, but you should have all the tips and tricks, because you've been recording all those interviews, so I you do. should know how to fuel yourself, how to hydrate yourself, to be able to be at ultimate performance peak readiness. They had, they had some great tips on, like, pre-workout, post-workout, like, what foods to eat. I had really no idea, and chocolate milk being... One of the... It's a great post-workout. Yeah. Yep, a yep. really good post-workout drink. So stay tuned for all that. But listen, while you were on camera, I had to let you tell the guys in, in the chat that they've been asking. So I wanted to make sure that you're, you're locked in, you're ready to go for the Husker football road race. I'll be there. I'll, I will be there representing. 
How does it feel to be on, in my seat? <laughs> it feels good. Um, so many times back there, it's just me doing the sports ticker. It's, they don't even turn the lights on for me back there, so it's nice to <laughs> see, the, see the light again, Jessica. Well, uh, you always hop in whenever we need it, so thanks for uh, hopping up here for the segment. So um, keep an eye on the draft for us. If we need a major update, breaking news update coming up later in the show, I'm going to turn to you for that. Will do, and hopefully I'll be back in hour two. Yes, you got the ticker. So. That's right. Yes. All right, there's Cole Hartman for all you guys in the chat that have been wanting him to come up here and, and be on camera. We, we made it happen for you tonight. Thanks to Russ back there on the board. All right, buckle up and put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office got some news regarding Deion Sanders on the other side of this break. Keep it here on Sports Nightly. Woodhouse Mazda is bringing you all new vehicles like the first ever Mazda CX-90 that just hit our lots at 144th and Giles at Woodhouse Place Mazda or off Highway 75 in Bellevue at Woodhouse Mazda. Experience three rows of comfort, making every drive more inspiring. Right now, get 3.9% APR for 36 months or 4.9% for 60 months on a 2024 Mazda CX-90. Visit us today to experience car buying on your terms. This is Woodhouse Mazda. With approved credit, tax, title, license, extra, wood finance with Mazda Financial. Offers fire 630-2023. See for complete details. Husker fans, mark your calendar for Sunday morning, July 16th to join the Nebraska football team in the race for a cure against pediatric brain cancer. It's the 11th annual Nebraska football road race. This year, all runners start and finish on Tom Osborne Field in Memorial Stadium. The final 69 yards will recreate the iconic 2013 SB Play of the Year when brain cancer patient Jack Hoffman scored a touchdown in the spring game. To register, go to huskers.com slash road race. Sponsored by the home agency with support from the Lincoln Track Club. Triple B Feed has the products to help your cows thrive. Whether it's weekly delivery of consumption-controlled Lumix liquid minerals with protein or Redmond natural mineral salt for livestock or humans, Triple B has you covered. Let Brian and Brad Blahorn take some of the stress out of your beef production this year. For more information and other products, visit TripleBFeed.com. Triple B Feed, helping you and your cattle. Husker fans, this is Matt Davison with the 1890 Initiative. You've probably heard about NIL, name, image, and likeness. And now you can have an immediate impact on the success of our programs. The 1890 Initiative is a proud NIL company in Nebraska. And with your help, we can maximize our student-athletes' opportunities with NIL and prepare them for life after college. Nebraska has always been a leader in college athletics. Let's do the same with NIL. To learn more, visit 1890nebraska.com, where 100% of your donation goes directly to Husker student athletes. That's 1890nebraska.com. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. That's my neighbor, Joe. Hey, Joe. Hey, John. Joe's about to make a very big mistake. Hey, Joe, you think it might be a good idea to call 811 to have your underground utilities parked before you start digging? John, that's just for big projects. <laughs> Actually, it's for any digging project. <laughs> Congratulations, Joe. You found your electric line. Remember, safe digging always begins with a free call to 811. You want to borrow my phone, buddy? Brought to you by Nebraska 811. In America, the future belongs to everyone. That's why we make trucks like Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 46 years straight and counting. Made for performance and capability. Made to play hard and work smart, on and off-road. That's because they're built Ford tough. So be future ready with Ford F-Series, based on 1977 to 2022 calendar year total sales. Nebraska fans have an opportunity to be a part of the 100th anniversary of Memorial Stadium in 2023 by purchasing a Through These Gates mini plan. It's a three game ticket package, and they are on sale now. The Through These Gates mini plan is priced at $100 to celebrate a century of football at Memorial Stadium. The ticket plan includes a ticket to non conference games against Northern Illinois on September 16th and Louisiana Tech on September 23rd, and then one of five. Big Ten home games while supplies last. So again, $100. You can go to huskers.com slash tickets or call the ticket office 1-800-8-BIG-RED or stop on by the athletic ticket office. Get those tickets to be inside Memorial Stadium coming up this season. And you'll recall, what, about a month or so ago that tickets went on sale at Colorado, uh, single game tickets and the 
Ticket prices were just astronomical for Nebraska football. I did do a check on that. Uh, the on Ticketmaster, I just went to Ticketmaster. The lowest I found is three hundred and fifteen dollars. If you're still interested in going there, so get your tickets to come here. Hundred dollars for three games, or go to Colorado. Three hundred fifteen dollars there to be in stadium. So uh, speaking of Colorado, did get some news that was posted today, I believe. Um, uh, yeah, today that Deion Sanders has been released from the hospital. We talked a little bit about this on Sports Daily a couple weeks ago that there was worry that they might have to amputate his foot or his leg, but he uh, did have surgery and has been released, but is uh, got a long road ahead apparently. He's undergone 10 surgeries, more procedures apparently coming. Um, they had to cut out both sides of his left calf and amputated two of his toes back in 2021. And then on Friday, this past Friday, they removed a really bad blood clot in his thigh along with a number of smaller clots below the knee. USA Today put out an article about kind of the what's to come for him, how serious it is, and, and how it's going to impact his future. It doesn't sound like it's going to be an easy road back. So, um, yeah, but he's out of the hospital. So there you go. There's the latest news on Deion Sanders. we got a, a lot more football coming up here in hour number two. We're going to hear from a couple of football players. Thomas Fedoni, the tight end, on the heels. I thought it was only fitting. Listen, I picked Thomas Fedoni last night at the end of the show thinking that we would have a tight end talk here in seg segment number one, and we did. We got a, another commitment there in the for the class of 2024, the Carter Nelson's tight end out of Ainsworth, Nebraska. So big get for Husker football there. So I thought, let's keep the theme going and talk to another tight end, a current tight end with Thomas Fedoni. He's been awesome to get to talk to, get to know, and uh, he feels as good as, he, as he's ever felt and felt really good coming off the of spring. And so we're going to hear from him. And then John Bullock is a guy that, man, his name came up a lot during the spring. They moved him back to linebacker. And he was on the starting defense, first team defense during the spring game with Nick Henrich, Luke Reimer out. They were uh, being cautious with both of those guys and they were on the sidelines coaching. So uh, John got the start there. So we're going to hear from him because about a month or so ago, both he and um, Nate Borkacher were put on scholarship. And those are again those are two names that we heard a lot throughout the spring so we're going to hear from uh we're going to hear from john and uh thomas i to totally lost my train of thought there coming up here in hour number two get a check in with them had a chance to chat with those guys a couple of weeks ago as they were going through media days and we've had so much going on we haven't even been able to bring you all of those interviews and then yeah we've got a lot of fun stuff ahead for you the rest of this week so we'll tell you about that here in hour number two cole anything new with the nhl draft Oh, you're not on mic still. Not on mic. Anything new? You're still not on mic. Oh, you're, you're not jumping on. I can. That's all right. I'll, I'll give updates here in the, in the ticker of next hour. Uh, here's Sam in Omaha on our text line just sent in a text. Have you ever been to a game before in Boulder? Um, I have not. I have not been, so I'm excited to go. I, I can't wait to experience it. I've heard a lot about it. Heard that the fans can be a little rowdy. My dad and brother have already requested tickets. I'm like, are you going to shell out $350 a ticket? We'll see. But hopefully I can locate them tickets. But I can't wait to go up there and experience that. Should be a fun atmosphere. But yeah, um, days are number, what, 60, 66 days, I think, is uh, the countdown. They have a schedule countdown on the football schedule on Huskers.com. So that you, they count down the days, hours, and minutes. Crypto King in our chat usually has an hour to the hour countdown of kickoff. But 64 days, 2 minutes, 39 seconds till kickoff in Boulder. So, yeah, hopefully can't wait to be there coming up in 64 days. All right, hour number two of Sports Nightly just ahead right after this break. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. SOS to the rescue, SOS to the rescue. 
As the Huskers head to halftime, Frank is off the couch and headed for the fridge. Ooh, but he can't make it because he is so hot. The air conditioner is out again. SOS, he screams and calls SOS Heating and Cooling, his favorite Luxair dealer trusted since 1950. With Luxair, you get a free 10-year labor warranty with a new system. SOS Heating and Cooling. SOS to the rescue. That's my neighbor, Joe. Hey, Joe. Hey, John. Joe's about to make a big mistake. Hey, Joe, think it might be a good idea to call 811 to have the utilities marked before you start digging? I'm not digging very deep. It's no big deal. <laughs> no big deal. Dad, the TV's out. Internet, too. Remember, safe digging always starts with a free call to 811. Oh, what a knuckle. Brought to you by Nebraska 811. Experience luxury car buying like never before when you shop at Genesis of Southwest Omaha. Our friendly sales team is here to help you every step of the way from finding the perfect Genesis model to securing financing that works for you. Right now, lease the thrilling 2023 Genesis G90 3.5T all-wheel drive for $12.79 a month for 36 months and 10,000 miles a year. With approved credit, tax title, and license extra $6,999 cash or trade down. First payment and $299 doc fee to it signing. Security deposit waived. Acquisition fee included. Stock number GG230117. See dealer for details. Offer expires 6-30-23.
Good evening. I'm Cole Hartman, and our sports ticker is brought to you by the 1890 Initiative. The 2023 NHL Draft is live tonight out in Nashville, Tennessee, where the round one is currently in session. The Chicago Blackhawks held the number one pick in the draft, where they picked up the prodigy forward Connor Bedard. Anaheim with the number two pick went with Leo Carlson from uh, Sweden, and the Columbus Blue Jackets selected Adam Fantilli, a product of a Big Ten school in Michigan. You can check out the rest of the first round live on ESPN. Max Anderson of Husker Baseball collected yet another postseason accolade as he received his fifth second team All-American honor this month as Baseball America released its All-America teams this afternoon. The junior for the Big Red was a Golden Spikes Award semifinalist, unanimous first team All Big Ten honoree, and hit 414 with 20 doubles, two triples, 21 home runs, and 70 runs batted in in his 2023 campaign. Another NU athlete adding to their collection of awards is Axelina Johansson of NU Track and Field. The sophomore Sweden product was named to the academic All America second team via the college sports communicators. Axelino won the NCAA shot put national title a few weeks back in Austin, Texas. In that event, each of her six throws could have landed her an NCAA gold medal. Johansson also swept the Big Ten indoor and outdoor shot put titles this season and was the NCAA indoor runner up in March. Just two games have gone final in Major League Baseball this afternoon. The Braves silenced the Twins 3 0 and the Nationals held off the Mariners 4 1. And games currently in action. The Reds lead the Orioles 6-4 in the second. The Pirates are out in front of the Padres 2-0 through 3. The Blue Jays have kept the Giants quiet 5-0 in the fourth. The Marlins lead the Red Sox 1-0 in the fourth. The Brewers are up 2-1 on the Mets. And Houston leads St. Louis 3-0 early in the first. Our sports ticker is sponsored by the 1890 Initiative. Do you want to support Husker student-athletes through name, image, and likeness? If so, visit 1890nebraska.com. Coming up is Hour 2 of Sports Nightly right here on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. Simon gets the shotgun snap. Huskers send a corner blitz. Simon steps, throws, pass intercepted. Picked off Go, by baby. Miles Farmer. Go, to baby. The 35 to the 30. Rook tied down to the 27 yard line. Miles Farmer's fourth career high end tees. Yes! Three eligible to the near side. Back to throw is Morgan. Stepping up, gets hit, dropped. Oh, he got drilled at the 18 yard line. Ty Robinson's second sack of the year. I think he took his shoes off with that hit. Here is your host, Jessica Cooty, on the Huskers Radio Network. Welcome back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance ag agriculture and much more. Acres solutions for every field. I'm Jessica Cooty, hour number two of Sports Nightly. Shout out Cole doing the ticker on camera. Thanks to Ross up there, back there running the boards. It's the first time I think ever Cole's been able to do the ticker on camera, so he was excited about that. All right, got a, a fun hour ahead for you. We're going to hear from Thomas Fedoni here in a couple minutes and then John Bullock here uh, in segment number two. But I uh, did want to start things off with the tight end since that's the big news of the day, right? Another commitment for the 24 class and Carter Nelson commits out of Ainsworth, Nebraska, so we're going to keep the tight end talk happening. Back in 2021, Thomas Fedoni was the number one tight end in the 2021 recruiting class. He came here early, was having a great spring, had a season-ending injury back in spring, and then he gets back, feeling healthy, having a great spring a year ago, and then again, yet another season-ending injury, was not able to play again last year. So he he's, comes back as a new coaching staff, and you recall at a press conference right before spring was about to kick off, Matt Rule got up there was was telling reporters that he was going to be cautious with Fedoni, maybe not let him go uh, full go right away and and take it a little slow. But it did not take long before Fedoni had convinced him that he was ready to go, let him go full speed. And then it was later on in spring he was asked again about Thomas Fedoni, and and Coach Rule really just raved about his competitiveness, how driven he was, and, and said that he sees some of himself in Fedoni and, and how he's wired. So that relationship has really been blooming. He called him one of his guys and, and has really taken him under his wing. And so I got a chance, 
couple of weeks ago to chat with Thomas Fedoni about how things are going this summer and that relationship with Coach Roll. Uh, how does this feel going through this for you? I mean, it's been so different. You've been coming off injuries, but to be able to go through this and be getting ready for the big screen and the intro video and all of that. Yeah, no, it's definitely exciting. Um, it's something different and, you know, something you you dream of, you know, coming into college. And it's something, obviously, like you said, I haven't been able to experience yet. But, you know, finally being here and uh, being able to experience it, uh, it's very exciting. And it just makes me excited and, you know, ready for the upcoming season. The last time we talked to you, you had told us you were 100% ready to go, and then I think it was right after we talked to you, Coach Rule went on and said that you were going to be limited in spring. And then he said throughout spring that you were not going to allow that to happen. How did spring unfold with you kind of saying, hey, Coach, I'm ready to go? Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's a bum with it. Yeah. At first, uh, I was a little bit limited. But, you know, I think me kind of being in his ear and be like, hey, Coach, I'm ready. Like, it's okay. Um, I, you know, I was a lot less limited than I think he would have liked, um, but I was fine with it. And I think it helped me, um, you know, take, take big strides mentally and physically, you know, help me where I need to be um, in preparation for this upcoming fall camp and season. And um, also just getting chemistry with the teammates, just being able to be out there. How good did you feel when spring was done? I mean, you've been through some spring, you've had some good springs, but uh, it's got to be different when you actually go through a full spring and are able to complete everything. Yeah, it felt really good. Um, like, that's an understatement. It felt amazing. Um, just to be able to finally, you know, clear a full spring, like you said, and be able to be healthy. And um, it's something that shouldn't be a surprise, but um, and I'm, not, I'm not saying it was, but it's just different. And, uh, and now it's something that should happen every spring. And I should, no more injuries. So what were your big takeaways then going through it? Older, knowing the game a little bit more, going through spring and, and a difference. What were your big takeaways once spring was done? Yeah, obviously, you know, when I first came in here as a young freshman, I, everything was just so much faster. And I did ha I had good springs as a freshman and a sophomore. And, yeah, things are a lot slower now. You know, I'm more confident physically, mentally. Um, you know, I'm not that nervous young freshman anymore. And, you know, you just you learn to uh, make mistakes going full speed instead of, you know, going not being very unsure, knowing what you're doing. And uh, maturing and being a older player um, helps with that. And it... It helped me mentally, um, kind of like confidently. Uh, at the end of spring, I was a lot more confident of where I am and, and have so much more room to grow. So, Coach Roll has certainly bragged on you throughout this whole entire process. What's it been like for you developing that relationship with him and, and having the trust that he has in you and the belief that he has in you? Yeah, um, me and him hit it off really right away. Um, we're very similar um, in a lot of ways. You know, we're extreme like alphas and we believe that that's how we are and you know no one's going to tell us what we can't do and they're, we're going to prove everybody wrong as to why and um i think that's something that helped us hit it off and yeah i mean it's a it's a huge thing to have my head coach be confident in me um i feel like it's something i've always had but i'm very cl i'm a lot closer with coach rule than I could have imagined, uh, you know, with him only being here for a certain amount of time. Um, so it's it's definitely helped. It's really nice. You said no one's going to tell you what to do, except you told him that, no, I'm ready to go, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, you know, the tight end room was another thing that really came out of spring that, hey, one of the deepest rooms and a lot of talent in that room. What was your takeaway from that and, and seeing all the guys really come along in, in your room? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Everyone. Everyone stepped up and and became a, a much better player throughout the whole spring. Um, you know, understanding the concepts and what we're trying to do as a, as a room, and you know, just develop. And you know, it, it it's not like an individual room; it's a it's a team room. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it's it's nice with the players that we have, and Nate, and Eric, and and Jake, and 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 all, even like you know, all the young guys stepping up, and and John. Everyone's just a leader, and I think it helps having older guys uh, help lead those young kids. What's it been like for you, too, taking on that leadership role, really embracing it and running with it and being that one of those guys that this, this coaching staff can call on to lead this team? Yeah, um, honestly, I haven't had this opportunity since high school, you know, junior, senior year, you know, when everything started taking off for me. Um, so, you know, that's, I'm just trying to lead as I want to be led um, and, and, and not one of those, you know, kind of just lead it by example, obviously. Um, I just want to set a good example and, you know, try to, push everyone um, the right way and I think it's it's helped me become a better player because the more I know the more I can help them um, which is good for both of us. 
One of the things that Coach Rule said right after the spring game in my interview with him is talking about, all right, we got to go now from being a coach-led team to a player-led yeah. team. Being that you're one of the leaders, how much pride are you taking in getting this team to that, being that a, a player-led team? Yeah, absolutely. Um, still still being kind of a younger kid on the team, it, yeah, I have to take it uh, this role a little bit differently. I can't just, you know, think that I own the team. So I have to... You know, and I have everyone's respect, but you still have to, you know, kind of take it a little bit more lightly. You can't just yell at everybody and tell them what to do and what not to do. You, like I said, you have to lead by example. And when they see you um, doing the right thing, they're going to follow and it, you'll become the leader the right way. And I feel like I've done a, a, a pretty good job of that so far. And obviously we have a, a lot of work to do in, in that regard. What goes into being a player-led team? Uh, doing things on our own, not having to have a coach tell us what to do and when to do it. Um, having the motivation um, to do things when you don't want to do them. Um, you know, after we get done with, you know, lifting, go do even even the small things like regen and getting healthy and 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 just catching balls off a jugs machine and and doing small drills, forward drills. It's just the small things uh, that you don't want to do that you wouldn't normally do um, without being told. Last thing I got for you, uh, Nate Borkacher, when he got the scholarship, how special yeah. was that for you? It's been a conversation me and him have been having for a long time. Um, it's very well deserved. That kid deserves it, and, you know, he's going to be a great player, and I'm excited to see, you know, him ball out. Um, he's a good friend, great friend of mine, and he's another kid that even, you know, I look up to, um, and he, he's just a great person, and, uh, yeah, I love that kid. He's a good kid. Thomas Ferroni, appreciate your time. Absolutely. Thank you. I should have mentioned before I tossed that interview, he was a little hoarse that day. Just uh, had a little, I don't know if he was yelling or screaming or just had a little scratchy throat, but that, that's why his, uh, he sounded a little, little hoarse. But that, that tight end room got a lot of praise throughout the spring. They're going to have a lot of leaders in that room. You know, I, I go back to that story right when this coaching staff got here and we started hearing about the things that they were doing to implement, implement the, the competition, the off season and, and the, the, um, what was it like the Husker Olympics and, and all of that that went took place before they even got into spring ball and Fedoni was selected to lead one of his teams and his teams his team was the leading points getter but after the first week that it started they he was in last place and they they challenged him and then he boy he got his act together in a hurry he didn't like to be in last place and then his team ends up getting I think, if I recall correctly, Coach Foley said the most points that since they've done this, they've done this a few times at Temple and Baylor, that any team's gotten by the end of it. So, uh, you know, he was a really great leader for that. And I know that this coaching staff has, has been impressed with the way that he's approached everything from the start. And um, so, yeah, uh, I don't know. I have not heard how team captains are going to go and how many and what that's going to look like and, and when that might be announced. But... Um, I, who knows? He might could be a guy that, that's in consideration for that. Uh, they've got a lot of guys, a lot of great leaders. And as you heard Corey Campbell talk about last night, if you missed that interview, we posted it on our YouTube platforms. But how these guys, they, they have the 10%, right? And then each week, guys are falling in line. They want to be a part of that. And, and these, these teams want to be coached. They want to be coached hard. They want to be good. They want to be um, great. And so the, he... You know, they couldn't have, he said he, he couldn't have asked for a better group of guys and, and how well they've just been accepting of everything that they've implemented. And it's not easy. I mean, they, they definitely ask a lot of this group, but I think um, it's a good group of guys, uh, the ones that were here and the ones that they've brought in. And, and you're seeing them together a lot throughout this facility. And, and then you're seeing all the posts on, on Twitter and, and all the things that they're doing outside of the weight room that is going into building that brotherhood. And... We're going to hear a lot more from that coming up tomorrow night with Gus Felder, the director of player personnel or player development, and all the things that are going into that and his role here with Nebraska football. It's a big part. It kind of goes hand in hand right now. And, and I, I mean, I, I recall it vividly after the spring game when my post-game interview with Coach Rule, I said, what's next? And he said, we've got to become a player-led team. We've been a coach-led team. Now we've got, got to become a player-led team. And, and it would seem that... These guys are doing all the things that they need to do to be able to do that, and, and Thomas Fedoni is, is going to be a big part of that as well. All right, you heard him talking about Nate Borkacher, one of the guys that was uh, put on scholarship about a month ago, a, a great reaction from the team. Another one of those players that was put on scholarship, a local kid, Nebraska kid out of Creighton Prep, John Bullock, the linebacker out of Omaha. We're going to hear from him coming up next. Buckle up and put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. More from Sports Nightly coming up right after this.
Husker fans, the 2023 Nebraska football season is right around the corner, and we need your support celebrating the 100th year of Memorial Stadium. Purchase a special Husker football through these gates mini plan. For only $100, you will be at the Northern Illinois and Louisiana Tech games, plus your choice of one home Big Ten game. Three games for only $100. Tickets available while supplies last. Purchase your through these gates mini plan today. For more information, visit huskers.com slash tickets. Go Big Red. Triple B Feed has the products to help your cows thrive. Whether it's weekly delivery of consumption-controlled Lumix liquid minerals with protein or Redmond natural mineral salt for livestock or humans, Triple B has you covered. Let Brian and Brad Blahorn take some of the stress out of your beef production this year. For more information and other products, visit TripleBFeed.com. Triple B Feed, helping you and your cattle. <coughs> It's time again for some Nebraska farm facts. For Nebraska soybean farmers, sustainability is a way of life. 97% of farms are family owned and 95% are participating in conservation programs and using sustainable practices. And they have significant sustainability goals by 2025. 10% more energy efficiency, 10% less land and 25% less soil erosion. This message is brought to you by Nebraska soybean farmers. Growing opportunity from the ground up. That's my neighbor, Joe. Hey, Joe. Hey, John. Joe's about to make a very big mistake. Hey, Joe, you think it might be a good idea to call 811 to have your underground utilities parked before you start digging? John, that's just for big projects. <laughs> Actually, it's for any digging project. <laughs> Congratulations, Joe. You found your electric line. Remember, safe digging always begins with a free call to 811. You want to borrow my phone, buddy? Brought to you by Nebraska 811. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm broadcasting student Ann Gallagher with Campus News. 26 Husker students presented research findings on nuclear deterrence to a panel of U.S. Strategic Command officials at STRATCOM headquarters in Bellevue. The student-led presentation was the culmination of a semester of STRATCOM-guided research and the latest in a years-long partnership between STRATCOM and the National Security Studies Program at Nebraska. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Farmers can make what seems impossible reality with a little hard work and ingenuity. They find solutions to reduce inputs and improve their yield. Valley Irrigation is no different. As the leader in irrigation technology, we deliver results and optimize your operation. Because when you have a vision for the future, you need the people that can make it possible by your side. Expect what's next. Expect what's possible from Valley. Visit us at valleyirrigation.com. Husker fans, this is Matt Davison with the 1890 Initiative. You've probably heard about NIL, name, image, and likeness, and now you can have an immediate impact on the success of our programs. The 1890 Initiative is a proud NIL company in Nebraska, and with your help, we can maximize our student-athletes' opportunities with NIL and prepare them for life after college. Nebraska has always been a leader in college athletics. Let's do the same with NIL. To learn more, visit 1890Nebraska.com, where 100% of your donation goes directly to Husker student-athletes. That's 1890Nebraska.com. Did I forget something? No, just wanted to tell you I love you. Oh, don't forget to buckle up. Drive safe. I will. Love you too. Someone is counting on you to buckle up. Paid for by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. For a delicious dinner on the go that will please the whole family, get high chai at high V. Right now, get a hy vee Chinese dinner for four, just $22 during the month of June. Get four one-pint entrees, two pints of rice or lo mein, and eight egg rolls or crab rangoon. That's right, get a hy vee Chinese dinner for four, just $22, now through the end of June. Dine in or carry out the crowd-pleasing, award-winning hy vee Chinese today. Some restrictions may apply. They say consistency is the key to success. They weren't wrong. So how about grabbing a beer that's consistently smooth, consistently refreshing, and consistently light? You might just find that the road to success can be pretty enjoyable. Michelob Ultra. 
The perfect balance of taste and refreshment and only 2.6 carbs and 95 calories. It's only worth it if you enjoy it. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Michelob Ultra Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm sports media student Connor Clark with Campus News. Engineering professor Ronald Fowler has been named a fellow of the National Academy of Inventors, the highest professional honor among academic inventors. As director of UNL's Midwest Roadside Safety Facility, Fowler has played a key role in developing innovative roadside safety technologies that are used around the world. Fowler has earned eight U.S. patents and three foreign patents over his 35-year career. The Sports Nightly Hotline is brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com anytime with 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned. You can always find what you're looking for with Woodhouse. 402-413-2400, the number to call or text in. John Bullock was a, a name we heard a lot throughout the spring and how he performed throughout spring practices. The junior now linebacker from uh, Creighton Prep walked on out of high school and it's been really a staple in special teams. Played in almost every game on special teams the last two seasons in 2021 and 2022. He moved from safety to linebacker and back in the spring when Coach Rule came on his, made his appearance here on Sports Nightly, he had uh, this to say about, about Bullock. John Bullock was one of the best players on our team this spring. John Bullock's a starting caliber player. He's a guy that will have a future, hopefully at the next level. Making that move for him from safety to linebacker unlocked a whole future. And so about a month ago, he was put on scholarship with, along with Nate Borkature and a, a great reaction from the team. You can tell he's really well liked in the locker room. And so I got a chance to chat with him a couple weeks ago about getting uh, put on scholarship and what that meant to him. Well, how are you enjoying kind of get back, getting back in the pads and getting ready for the season? Yeah, no, we're enjoying. I'm ready uh, to just get going again and start hitting. So I'm um, excited and excited to play with my brothers, and that's about all I got for that. All right, well, take me back to what a few weeks ago. You get the coach role, get you guys all together, and he tells you you're on scholarship. Take me through all of that. Yeah, no, I mean, it means the world to me. I mean, I've been working for this day my ever since I got here, so... Um, yeah, it was awesome to be able to share that with my teammates and um, very appreciative of Coach Rule for that. So, Did you have any idea it was coming? I didn't, no. I'm not going to lie. I did not have any idea. So, so. What, you had no idea what he was calling you guys all together for? I No, I had no idea. I was just there. I was a Coach Rule wanted to meet, so I was like, okay, I'm there. And he brought it up, and I was excited. So. Uh, how rewarding was that? I mean, you, you said it. You've been working towards this moment. You come in here, you feel like you could earn it, and then you did. Uh, I can only imagine the emotion that you felt in that moment. Yeah, no, it was great. I mean, I didn't expect it. I mean, I'm not the one to really expect anything. I'm just here to work and um, get better every day, and hopefully we can come out and win some games on top of that. So. You know, he had said that what was really cool for him to see the reaction of uh, your teammates when both of you guys got that scholarship. So what did that mean to you, getting that kind of reaction from your teammates? Yeah, no, I mean, I, I go to war with those guys every day. So, I mean, it's, it's all love with them. Um, so it was amazing to share that moment with them. So it was very enjoyable. You know, both um, Coach Roll and Coach White have mentioned you and, and how well you've done this spring and, and how much you've taken care of business. What have you done? Do you feel like that you've caught their attention? Um, you know, I'm just, I just try to work as hard as I can all the time. I mean, that's, it sounds very cliche, but that's just the truth. I just try to go out there and give my all, play for my teammates. And yeah, that's, that's just my mindset going through it. Just give it all for my teammates, for me. And so, yeah, that's about all. At what point did you realize this was going to be a good fit for you, this defense, Tony White's defense? I mean, yeah, I'm just a guy who likes to fly around a lot and that that's what his defense allows you to do so I love just being able to run being able to hit make a play just be physical um knowing your assignment yeah it's just all that was it when you turned on the film or was it when you got on the field that you realized okay this is gonna be pretty fun to play in I mean when I heard about it I was just like okay yeah this sounds like a defense I could play it. and then I started actually getting reps towards it and I was like okay I really like this a lot and so I mean yeah it's just it's unbelievable I love it it's yeah, it's about as good as it gets. You know, and, and going back to 
getting the scholarship and, and the history here, and you're a Nebraska kid. Yeah. Um, the magnitude of that, has that sunk into, I mean, just the tradition of, of what walk-ons have meant to this program? Yeah, I mean, growing up as a Nebraska kid, that was, I mean, that was my team. That's all I watched. So, um, yeah, it means the world. I mean, I couldn't have dreamt of this. This is my dream to play here. Um, you know, I, I don't take it for granted at all. I mean, it's, it's a dream come true for me, so. Take me back to in high school and, you know, feeling like you could come here and yeah. find a spot and maybe potentially earn a scholarship. What made you believe that, hey, I could come here and, and do whatever I need to do? Um, I mean, I've always just been taught. My dad and my parents grew up just telling me, hey, um, just work as hard as you can. Listen to coaches, be coachable, and everything will work out for itself. So um, I've just kind of by, been living by that ever since I was young. And uh, it stuck with me through college, and now I'm here today. So it's awesome. It's been a journey. You've played a huge role on special teams and been a an absolute a staple in the sta special teams lineup both for the last couple of years. Why was that important for you to embrace that role? I mean, just any way I can get on the field and make an impact and for my team and help out my team, that's, that's what I'm going to do. So uh, I didn't take it for granted. I didn't take that for granted at all. So, um, yeah, it's awesome. It's just being to get on the field and helping out my guys uh, any way I possibly can. Uh, that's just my mindset. So. What made you see such an important role in special teams? Why do you believe so much in, in giving your all in, in that role? Um, I don't know. Sometimes I feel special teams is looked over and uh, people don't pay enough attention to it as they should. And it's the reason a lot of teams lose very close games as it comes down to special teams. So to me, special teams is very important, as important as offense or defense. So. Um, yeah, it's not something that I took lightly, and I worked for it every day. So, so what has uh, I know it's kind of been a lot of coaches working on special teams, but Ed Foley and what he's done in that role. How have you seen him kind of make an impact already? Yeah, no, he's an intense guy. I mean, he's very smart. He's always wanting to get get us better and get himself better, get other, the other coaches better. So, um, it's awesome learning from him. I mean, he's intense. He brings energy every day. Um, he makes you want to get going, get bring the juice. So. Yeah, I love that about him. What about Coach Dvorak? What what have you learned from him? What's he um, like out there? He's yeah, he's also very intense. He's very intense. Um, he's a guy who's very smart. He knows what he's talking about. Um, he's got good relationships with all of us, so I mean, it's easy to take coaching from him, um, which is good, which you need to have. Um, but yeah, he's he's doing a great job right now. I can't nothing nothing bad to say about him. What do you guys need to do as a linebacker group throughout the summer um, together and uh, to be ready to go come fall camp? Um, I think just staying in the film room and sticking to what we're doing, um, creating that brotherhood, just being close to each other. Um, uh, but yeah, just staying in the film room and working out and working on our techniques, um, learning the defense, just get it down to a T. Um, I think that'll help us a lot this season. You feel like you're in your right spot now, uh, linebacking feel most at home there? I do, yeah, I really do. I'd, yeah, I'd say so. That's yeah. your spot. Yep. And then just uh, finally, you know, going back to the scholarship, and, and I know you've always been a hard worker and motivated and all of that, but now that you have the scholarship, how much more motivation do you have to continue to go out there and perform for your team? Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, it doesn't change my mindset. I'm still going to be the person I am. I'm, nothing changes. Uh, I'm always going to keep working for them, um, but now that I'm taking, could be taking a bigger role and bigger step, uh, I now need to probably pay a little bit more attention to how I'm going about things and being a good role model for other players and the younger guys. So, um, yeah, that's really about it. I said last thing, this is the last thing. Yep. There's a lot of old guys in that linebacker room. So uh, how important is it for you guys as the linebackers to kind of help lead the defense too? Yeah, no, it's very important for us. I mean, that's kind of what I know Nick and Luke are, they've, there's some vet guys here and they played, started for three years. So they've, I mean, they've even helped me along and they've gotten to me, gotten me to where I have, am right now in the linebacker room. So got nothing but love for them all the time. But um, yeah, no, it's very important for us. Uh, we're always trying to get not just get ourselves better, but get the other players around us better in DBs, uh, D-line, even if it's the offense. So 
Yeah, it's very important to us. Appreciate your time. Yeah, thank you very much. You know, you think about it, a year ago with Nick Henrich and Luke Reimer, that, that linebacker room was a little short on depth, right? And, and then Ernest Hausman had to come and play as a true freshman, and they moved guys around. Uh, Nick Henrich goes down in the first game, and, and the defense really felt it when, when he went down there uh, at Northwest, against Northwestern, and then he comes back and then has a season-ending injury. He looks like he's uh, getting close to hopefully be in full go. He sat out during the spring, and... I uh, mentioned earlier, and Luke Reimer also has had his fair share of, of health issues as well. He missed the last game at Iowa uh, of the season and um, came out, warmed up, and then came back out in street clothes. So, But, yeah, he missed the last game, and, and he's had some injuries. But he told me back in the spring that he had to really – he, he kind of rushed getting back a lot, and, and that's why he kind of had some lingering injuries, and he had to be really diligent about getting healthy and taking care of himself. But they were cautious with both of them, and um, Nick was, wouldn't have been ready, I, I don't believe, at any point during the spring to come back, but they were also cautious with Luke. Both of them sat out during the spring game, and so John Bullock was the starting linebacker for the, the first-team defense there in the spring game. And it was really cool because, you know, when I was doing silent, I was going back and forth, and Luke and Nick were uh, coaching. They were coaching up their guys on the sideline, and, and the linebackers, whichever team that they were with, each of them were on each side, and because the coaches were split up as well. And so they were kind of taking on a, a little bit of a coaching on the sideline role. But uh, it's that, that linebacker group now has gone from maybe a little bit of lack of depth a season ago to having – some, a lot more depth in that room this year. So that will be uh, certainly probably a, a position of strength for this defense coming up this season. All right, got to take another break here on Sports Nightly. Buckle up and put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Got a couple more segments left. If you want to be a part of the show, 402-413-2400, the number to call or text in. Keep it right here. Woodhouse is bringing the entire lineup of General Motors vehicles to you. Visit our two new locations, Woodhouse Chevy and Woodhouse Cadillac in Omaha, off 112th and Dodge. We offer a wide range of cars, trucks, and SUVs with features you actually want in your next vehicle. Plus, experience a simple and streamlined car buying process, no matter which of our four General Motors dealerships you choose. Browse our entire selection conveniently online at woodhouse.com. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. They say consistency is the key to success. They weren't wrong. So how about grabbing a beer that's consistently smooth, consistently refreshing, and consistently light? You might just find that the road to success can be pretty enjoyable. Michelob Ultra, the perfect balance of taste and refreshment and only 2.6 carbs and 95 calories. It's only worth it if you enjoy it. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Michelob Ultra Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. For a delicious dinner on the go that will please the whole family, get High Chai at High V. Right now, get a High V Chinese dinner for four, just $22 during the month of June. Get four one pint entrees, two pints of rice or lo mein, and eight egg rolls or crab rangoon. That's right, get a High V Chinese dinner for four, just $22 now through the end of June. Dine in or carry out the crowd pleasing, award winning High V Chinese today. Some restrictions may apply. Want to get all the latest Husker news straight to your phone? Need to be the first of your friends to get the scoop on all things Huskers? Sign up for text alerts from Nebraska Athletics. Text Huskers to 83200 to get game time notifications and updates, breaking news, special ticket offers, and more straight to your phone. All the Husker news is just a quick text away. Just text Huskers to 83200. Standard text messaging rates apply and may vary by carrier. To win the game, you gotta have more strength. You gotta be tougher. You gotta be reliable. You gotta want it more than the other guy. And you need a great team you can count on, backing you up the whole time. Whether it's in the field with your Massey Ferguson or on the field with the Huskers, red is the color of getting it done quicker, smarter, and efficiently. 
So this season, make sure you're checking out the lineup that'll get more done where and when it counts. From your Nebraska Massey Ferguson dealers. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Deer roads, trails, and rivers. You ready for some SUV action? Toyota SUVs can roll their sleeves up for tight turns and twisty trails, dress up for a night out on the town, or head to the great outdoors. Take your family adventure game to a whole new level with the roomy Highlander. Make a serious splash with the rugged, revved up RAV4. And tow all your toys in the spacious new Sequoia. Don't forget the Trail Taming 4Runner and the sleek Venza Hybrid. All Toyota SUVs feature a whole suite of creature comforts to keep you and yours cozy in the cabin. Check out this legendary lineup at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. See your Omaha Metro and Lincoln Toyota dealers. Corbin Toyota of Bellevue, Village Point Toyota of Omaha, Baxter Toyota of La Vista, or Baxter Toyota of Lincoln. As the Huskers head to halftime, Frank is off the couch and headed for the fridge. Ooh, but he can't make it because he is so hot. The air conditioner is out again. SOS, he screams and calls SOS Heating and Cooling. His favorite Luxair dealer trusted since 1950. With Luxair, you get a free 10-year labor warranty with a new system. SOS Heating and Cooling. SOS to the rescue. SOS, SOS. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. It's more powerful than the legendary Husker option offense. More powerful than the black shirt defense. It's the sun, and you can harness its power with JTEC Solar. JTEC, the official solar energy experts of the Huskers, can help you shrink your energy bills and start saving money now. Solar power is clean, affordable, and it's dependable because the sun always shines on the Huskers. JTEC Solar for your home, business, or agriculture energy needs. Visit JTECSolar.com. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall and Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Road townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. Welcome back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more. Acres, solutions for every field. Got a couple more segments left here on this Wednesday night edition of Sports Nightly. I'm Jessica Cooty. So yesterday, 247sports.com put out a fascinating article and it was talking about the coach rating index and it was a system that matrix analytical solutions they developed back in 2009 to measure the careers of all on-field coaches regardless of position they've never put out this information publicly but they released some uh, exclusive access to 24 7 during the off season and it was created to help athletic departments and coaches uh, use the data when they are going through coaching searches across the FBS and FCS. And so over 30,000 individual reports have been, uh, individual unit profiles have been accumulated and put in this system. So CRI, and they have a lot of different things that they use, the, the data that they put into it. It's crazy. I could spend all day and all of tomorrow's show talking about everything that goes into it. But there's, uh, they do position coaches, they do coordinators, and then they do head coaches. And, you know, for the head coaches, there's a, a, a certain criteria. So Lincoln Riley, for example, the head coach at USC, is in the top 10 of both head coach, 
position coach and offensive coordinator. But not every head coach is a play caller, and not every head coach is a position coach. But Lincoln Riley coaches both quarterbacks and is the offensive play caller, so he's top three in all of those. But again, there's a lot of things that go into it, but they released the top 10 currently in college football. And there's a uh, index star system. So if you have 90 to 100 points, you're five star, 80 to 89.9, four and a half stars, four stars is 70 to 79.9. So the top 10 in uh, starting at 10, I, I was kind of shocked by a few of these. Jeff Brom at Louisville just came from Purdue, went back to his alma mater. He is Number 10 and 78.86 rating, a four star rating there um, after he led the Boilermakers to the 2022 Big Ten Championship game. And again, this is not just all on your win loss record, it's kind of the difficulty. And yeah, so there's a lot that kind of goes into these rankings. And Josh Heupel, I was also surprised to see in this list as well at Tennessee, 81.12, uh, five seasons. And his star rating is four and a half stars. And this is all just uh, the, the top 10 coaches they are, have had to have coached at least three years. So that's just three year coaches there. Number eight, Hugh Freeze at Auburn, uh, 10 seasons of experience, four and a half star rating. And his total was 8201. Number seven was Chris Kleiman at Kansas State, 83.88. Um, star rating is a four. And he, um, of course, has made all kinds of noise with Kansas State there um, in Manhattan. Number six, Jim Harbaugh, Michigan, 85.35, four and a half stars. And number five, Dabo Sweeney, Clemson, 90. We're getting into the 90s now, 90.54. He's coming in at number five with a five star rating. And number four, Cole, you got any guesses back there? Oh, you're not a mic. You're not a mic. I'll keep rolling. Number four, Ohio State, Ryan Day, 93.38. It's a five star rating. And number three mentioned, I just talked about Lincoln Riley. Number three is Lincoln Riley from USC, 94.26. I was kind of surprised to see him as high as he is. I know that, that he's had a lot of success, but a lot of the what he took over at Oklahoma was kind of already in place. And again, I know there's a lot of things that go into the rankings, but. I think we'll really see just how good of a head coach he is um, at USC. The way that he turned it around last year at USC, but will that uh, success be sustainable? And is definitely no no doubt about it. The quarterback whisperer of college uh, college football, and has another great one in Caleb Williams, a uh, Heisman Trophy front runner there. But uh, we'll see how how well he can really turn things around with USC, and especially coming back and, and going to be playing in the Big Ten, which is completely different style of football. Number two, Kirby Smart. I don't think anybody's going to be surprised with one and two. Number two is Kirby Smart from Georgia, 94.31, and a five-star rating, and back-to-back -back national titles. But he has a chance to do something that I'm assuming that everybody knows who number one is, is Nick Saban. But he's, Kirby Smart has a chance to do something that Nick Saban has never done, and that's when back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back national championships this year. And then, yes, coming in at number one with a whopping 98.54 uh, total points, five star is Nick Saban. No surprise there. Were you guys surprised at all with that list back there? No, no, no surprise with Nick Saban. I, I was surprised with Lincoln Riley being that high. I feel like, well, it's hard to say. He did have a really good year last year, but don't, is tenure like a factor? Like is longevity? <laughs> The guys uh, on this list just had at least three years of experience. Right. So, I've, but no, it's more so like, I mean, again, it's complicated. There's like nine different factors. It's your win-loss record, but also the dif difficulty of that. And so uh, there's a lot of things that kind of go into it. And so, um, yeah, I, I was surprised with a couple of them. Josh Heupel, I know he, he took over at um, UCF and had a good team there and then was it Tennessee that that game right there between Tennessee and Oklahoma when they go to, to Norman Tennessee because there's some kind of some bad blood there or there had been in the past with Josh Heupel and you know he had got fired and was replaced by Lincoln Riley and as the offensive coordinator at Oklahoma and then um, 
Josh Heupel ends up, it ends up being great for him because he ends up getting a, a head coaching gig out of the deal and, and has a pretty good gig at Tennessee. But I, I was kind of surprised maybe to see him in that list and Lincoln Riley as high. I wasn't surprised to see Lincoln Riley in the top ten. I was surprised to see him at number three. Any other surprises for you there in that list? Sure. I <laughs> I think it's a decent it's a decent list for how it was generated. Some and of them was, are the, definitely not surprising. I don't think you know seeing the success that, that some of them have had. But I, I just thought that was fascinating, and and I saw a lot of people talking about it on Twitter. We didn't get a chance to get to it on yesterday's show, but I did want to bring it up. I just you know it's that time of the year you, you talk about whatever, but you always have this. People have these debates about who's the best coach in college football, right? Well, it turns out there's been this. CRI that this coaching index that they've had that has all this data that they've accumulated that just now has been made public again that's on 24/7 sports.com if you want to check out that that full list there but just found that that pretty fascinating all right going to work in our final break here before we get to our final segment of Sports Nightly. The Sports Nightly Hotline is brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com anytime with 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned. You can always find what you're looking for with Woodhouse. Back to wrap up the show coming up next. More Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic care first. Studies show that chiropractic is safe, drug-free, and the most effective treatment option for back, neck, and joint pain. It can also help patients of all ages reduce migraines, improve mobility, and maximize athletic performance. Keep the entire family healthy and active with natural, cost-effective chiropractic care. Find a chiropractic physician near you at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm broadcasting student Grant Hansen with Campus News. University of Nebraska leadership has launched a $3 billion fundraising campaign to support education access for Nebraska students. The Only in Nebraska campaign, the largest in university history, will focus on creating scholarships to make education more affordable, attracting more Nebraska students, and keeping young people in the state after graduation. For a delicious dinner on the go that will please the whole family, get high chai at High V. Right now, get a High V Chinese dinner for four, just $22 during the month of June. Get four one-pint entrees, two pints of rice or lo mein, and eight egg rolls or crab rangoon. That's right, get a high V Chinese dinner for four, just $22, now through the end of June. Dine in or carry out the crowd-pleasing, award-winning high V Chinese today. Some restrictions may apply. At Nebraska, our people will always be our greatest asset. Day by day, donors give our teams the best opportunity to compete and win through their generous donations. Our vision for the future is ambitious and requires help from those who want to see Husker athletics excel at the highest level. Go big and join thousands of other Huskers Athletic Fund members with your gift today at huskers.com slash donate. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. It's more powerful than the legendary Husker option offense. More powerful than the black shirt defense. It's the sun, and you can harness its power with JTEC Solar. JTEC, the official solar energy experts of the Huskers, can help you shrink your energy bills and start saving money now. Solar power is clean, affordable, and it's dependable because the sun always shines on the Huskers. JTEC Solar for your home, business, or agriculture energy needs. Visit JTECSolar.com. FNBO is the great big small bank. And for more than 165 years, we've been with you where you are. A bank that's ready for all your needs, both big and small. Here to help you earn more, save more, so you can do more every step of the way. It's what you can expect from the great big small bank. FNBO, independent and family owned for six generations and ever so focused on you. Stop on by or visit us at FNBO.com, member FDIC. Nebraska fans have an opportunity to be a part of the 100th anniversary of Memorial Stadium this season by purchasing a Through These Gates mini plan. The three game ticket packages are on sale now. The Through These Gates mini plan is priced at $100 to celebrate a century of football at Memorial Stadium. The ticket plan includes a ticket to non conference games against Northern Illinois September 16th, Louisiana Tech. September 23rd, and then your choice of one of the five 
Big Ten home games while those supplies last. So you've got Michigan, Northwestern, Purdue, Maryland, Iowa. You can choose from one of those five games. And yeah, you can get those tickets right now. Huskers.com slash tickets or by calling the ticket office 1 800 8 Big Red or just show up over there to the ticket office, the athletic ticket office. They've been busy over these last couple weeks of the, as they have racked up over 3,000 people on the wait list for Husker softball. And they said it's been absolutely wild since Jordy Ball has made the announcement she's returning home. So that is awesome for the Husker softball program. It's probably going to be sell out, sell out every single game, just like Husker volleyball is. So that how cool is that? I don't know how many places in the country can say for women's sports, if it happens for Husker softball, that they have two sports that sell out. I don't. I mean, I know that that certain schools have one sport that sells out, but I don't know about two sports. I, it'd be rare to find if there's two, but how cool is that? Over 3,000 have been on the wait list. It's really neat for that program and, and certainly Rhonda Ravel, her staff, and, and that whole group that's returning absolutely uh, deserves it. Got a text from Art in Los Angeles that asked me about the thoughts of the Black Shirts program. Uh, do you think they should keep it? And what are the benefits of the program? Yeah, I mean, they, they've talked about they're going to keep it. We haven't heard how they're going to implement this coaching staff. But Tony White, when I sat down with him back in December, and he'd been here, I don't know, maybe five days. And he, he had such great reverence for Nebraska, the black shirt program. And it meant a lot to him to be able to join that. And I think that they might put their own spin on it, but... The black shirts are staying from what everything that I understand, how they're going to do it. We don't know that when, I'm assuming sometime in fall camp. You, you know, we also will at some point find out about the single digits. So uh, the, those guys that earn those single digits and which will be voted on by the team, the team captains, all of that. But I think the, the absolutely the black shirt program's here to stay and, and it means a lot to the defensive coordinator. And, and I think they'll just, he wants to do his research and he didn't want to just jump right in and, and make any assumptions on it. And he wanted to do his research and, and talk to some former players too. And, and some guys that have been black shirts in the past and get uh, their thoughts on all of that. And so, uh, yeah, I think it's, it's here to stay. And I think it's absolutely beneficial. It's part of the tradition and, and it's all about balance, right? Uh, the looking towards the future and the things that the staff wants to implement, but also really much, really absolutely embracing this tradition and, and this coaching staff, loves everything of the history and tradition of Husker football. And so it's a balance of, of the past and the present and future and, and how that all goes together. But I, they'll have a plan in place. And I, I'm sure it'll be one of the questions that will get asked pretty quickly once they start fall camp and, and how that's going to unfold. Uh, another text that said, where was rule on that list of coaches? I don't know. They only had the top 10 on that list. So that was all that was on there. But and I, I don't know if he was considered or if he was on it, being that he just came back from the NFL. But as somebody in the chat pointed out, I think it's Crypto King, that coach role will be on that list in no time at all. So we'll, we'll see. But anyways, appreciate everybody being a part of the show tonight on the chat and on our text line. Thanks for the text and the calls. Thanks to Cole and Russ for helping me out, helping me steer the show again. Greg out for the rest of the week. Coming up tomorrow, we got a really fun show for you. We're going to continue our series of newcomer interviews here from Bergen Riley. She'll be here. Uh, what a great interview. All these freshman volleyball players were absolutely fantastic to talk to. I can't wait for you guys to hear from him, the, all of them. And then also Gus Felder, the director of player development here at Oscar Football. Big piece, a really important hire for Coach Rule. It was really important that play. Gus has been busy this summer. A lot of things going on this summer to help develop that chemistry and bond for the brotherhood. So you're going to hear all of that coming up tomorrow. Thanks so much for listening for tonight's Sports Nightly, and we'll see you tomorrow night here on the show. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. At CHI Health Clinic, we believe health care should be personal because knowing your provider personally makes appointments more comfortable more productive, and more meaningful to your overall health. Get matched with a primary care provider based on your personality and lifestyle using CHI Health Clinic's My Provider Match. Take the survey at myprovidermatch.com to find the right provider for you. Getting healthier starts by getting personal at CHI Health Clinic. Huskers, do you want a fulfilling career that's financially rewarding? Explore the many ways you can be a part of the insurance community Go to IIAN.
org slash careers today. Business insurance is a lot to manage. Did you know a trusted choice independent insurance agent can help guide you through it at no extra cost to you? They'll do your insurance. You just do you. Find out more at trustedchoice.com. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. Get ready again for some Nebraska farm facts. When there's work to be done, Nebraska soybeans are on the job in many of your everyday products. In fact, Nebraska soybeans are hard at work in Goodyear tires, Ford cars and trucks, Skechers shoes, asphalt, fuels, lubricants, name brand paints and stains, and more. 